So I'm gonna go ahead and stop my commute and hopefully I'm gonna go ahead and talk more about the Lyric graffiti bike. And the one thing I didn't mention so far and concentrate on because that's more interested on the battery is the actual controller to use. Now, first video I did, I didn't even know what controller they were using because they haven't come out obviously a pre-production bike so no one knew for sure. But then I remember on a Reddit forum, them actually addressing someone else and stating that they're using an ASI BAC 855. Now that controller, I happen to be very, very, very familiar with because I used it for years on people's pretty much BBS HD builds when I was doing custom e-bike builds back then when the BBS HD was kind of relatively new and you didn't have the modified version that Grin Technology made which is now the Phase Runner which is essentially an ASI controller but with better support and stuff like that so I know this controller well there's one thing I can tell you about this controller though that at 52 volts the max you're gonna get out of this thing is 2000 watts you're not gonna go any higher and the reason why I noticed because I experimented with the phase currents and everything else on this controller and stuff to the point of saturation and dermal overload pretty much and stuff like that and on a 52 volt setup the max you can get out of it is 2000 watts so they're completely lying on the specs pretty much there's no way that on that 52 volt battery I mean the battery itself should say it all but there's no way they're gonna be able to actually um, get nominal 2500 watts as they're claiming and it's not just the limitation of the battery it's actually the limitation of the controller itself now if you're pushing the controller like I did at 72 volts you can easily get 3000 watts out of it because I was able to actually do that I was even able to push it at actually 100 amp phase current on it past and what the max on that controller is a 90 amp phase current limit on it I was actually able to get a 100 amp phase current on a 72 volt setup now unfortunately the lyric is what they did was and I didn't even catch on to this is they essentially took the max specs of that controller you know stating that okay it's 90 amp phase current max and stuff like that and they used it as their ratings on the graffiti e-bike they're selling put it as a specification on the actual bike itself so they're completely lying on the specs pretty much they just took the control at max voltage and that's what they made rate the 90 and 70 amp nominal is what if you're pushing at 86 volts which is the max limit on their controller and stuff like that and they're claiming that's what their bike can do pretty much which it can't because obviously they're using a 52 volt setup so at this point it's not going to be that i recommend just holding off i'm going to completely recommend not to buy this bike pretty much at this point just because you know the battery's underwhelming and the voltage setup they got on there is not capable of actually pushing out the current that's required for it to meet their specification at most that bike will be able to do 2000 watts and i believe it's gonna be more like around 15 to 1700 watts to be honest with you so you know being the fact that they kind of lied and just took the specification off the controller pretty much is a big no recommendation for me pretty much you know what i mean because none of the specs are actually correct for what that bike can actually put out now it is kind of windy out here i'm sorry so if you're not hearing me very well these brakes are actually working very very well i like these um quad piston brakes they stopped this bike on a dime though but you know i can't recommend it and i pretty much shockingly didn't catch on to that right away that their specifications just um pretty much copied off the max specs off that controller so they pretty much did no testing on paragraph four when they responded to me on one of my earlier videos and stuff they said that we intend to you know go ahead and 
make it that speed and stuff like that they should have had a production bike already especially being the fact that this bike was supposed to ship you know september and then they delayed it to december and now it's mid-january and stuff like that so who knows when this bike's actually even gonna come out and stuff like that too that's the other problem with it being the fact that they said they intend to you're telling me you haven't come out with a production bike yet it's kind of you know at this point becoming a bad joke at this point you know what i mean so now as far as tuning you know goes on that bike and modification you know pretty much it's gonna be very tunable and very modified of course the first thing you have to upgrade is the battery pack you have to put an actual 72 volt battery pack because like this controller can handle it for sure now the motor not sure what they're actually using because they don't specify the motor so it's one of those things i wish i kind of actually knew unfortunately since they didn't specify what motor they're actually using i can't really tell you let me let this car pass by so i can go with this clip You know, any motor, for example, they can take a thousand watt motor and save the 2500 watt motors. Motors are not actually, you know, voltage or wattage specific and stuff like that. For example, you can take a 36 volt motor and push it at 72 volts. Whether it will burn up or not, it depends on the how the motor's round, of course, the thickness of the copper and everything else and stuff like that. We'll actually be able to handle that, but at the same time, too. You know what I mean? Who knows what motor they're actually using. They're not using anything I'm actually familiar with or I have seen. So they could have a custom for them. It could actually be a real 2500 watt nominal motor. But the controller and the battery won't be able to put it down. At least not in that configuration though. If you push that controller up to 72 volts, it'll definitely be able to put the nominal watts. And I know one of the arguments they were saying is that higher voltage means top speed and yes that's true and they're like we're not trying to get top speed we're just trying to get top um torque but speed and tor um, torque actually go hand in hand pretty much you know what i mean the higher the voltage is the more current you can theoretically push and the less current's actually gonna draw from the battery because you're running it at a higher voltage so yes voltage does also make the difference on the amount of torque that that bike will actually put out too as well so they're kind of also you know kind of trying to sidetrack that pretty much saying that oh yeah it's not related it is very relatable torque and speed go hand in hand pretty much and voltage and current also goes hand in hand too because the higher voltage you get the lower current that should be drawn from the battery pretty much therefore being able to push the nominal current that you need to actually go ahead and you know get your ratings on that bike pretty much so they're kind of bullshitting on that one too here you go i gotta turn here pretty much but you know that's why you know i'm glad i didn't actually purchase this bike so huh you know huh but like I said, I'm going to put it on the I do not recommend. Be, just for that very reason only because they kind of lied on the specs. It's not going to be able to reach its specs. They tried to sidetrack the issue by saying, well, for liability reasons, we don't want that speed. We don't want it going faster than 37 miles an hour because we got to put motorcycle brakes and tires and all that on it, which is true to a certain extent but at the same time too you're not gonna be able to reach that current because of that it's your limiting factor pretty much so you know what i mean i don't know why they did that but hey that's the way that's what they went with they decided to go with 52 volt setup instead of a 60 or 72 volt setup now i'm not dishing the controller or anything like that because it's a very capable control it's actually a very good one you know it's just not gonna be able to do those specs at that current pretty good i mean at that voltage at 52 volts now at 52 volt now at 72 volts it'll easily be able to put out 3000 watts on a control it's a very good controller 
and like I said I kind of used it for many years so I know what the controller is actually capable of so it's definitely a good controller I used it for many years I know where it saturates at I know and that's one of the problems you got to worry about too if you're pushing it hard you got to worry about the motor saturation and also back emf and stuff like that too as well and stuff there's a lot of factors that play into part on how much current you could actually push through a motor and one of them is voltage and unfortunately you're not going to be able to get more than 2000 you know watts out of that reliably at that voltage now we're coming up to the end of the commute and this here is pretty much good um what do you call it the destination is on your left it's pretty much gonna conclude the video hopefully the next video i do on lyric is when they actually come out with a pre-production bike if they actually come out with it pretty much one of the things that i want to go over too before i conclude this video is actually what specs the pre-production bike is supposed to be and this was confirmed pretty much by them it's supposed to be an 860c color display they're going to be using an asi bac 855 controller it's going to be using as far as the battery cat goes going to be a 17.5 amp hour and it's going to be samson 35e cells they're using 18650s now the only thing i really don't know what they're going to be using is what actual hub motor they're using and stuff like that because i don't see no branding or name or anything on it but that's pretty much what the specs of the bikes are going to be as far as i know